All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is of course Bullet RC coming at you guys again with another video. Now, I was actually twitching yesterday, did a twitching um, live streaming, if you don't know what Twitch is, live streaming games, um, for GTA and I was doing uh, some Z Z Call of Duty Zombies and um, a lot of people have been asking me on comments as well as last night, um, how did I feel about the 2016 uh, or spring 2016 Jordan um, lineup? Um, and basically, I mean, honestly, I'm not too excited for it, but the thing with that is, I'm usually happy when I'm not excited for a lot of shoes because that just means it's more money staying in my pocket. Um, but before I get to that, let's go ahead and talk about one shoe in particular that I am definitely, definitely, definitely ready and hoping that they do bring back. Um, and that is, of course, the Cement 4 in this OG form uh, with the Nike on the back, the 99 Cement 4s. Um, and that was like basically one of the first um, new 2016 Jordans that people were, you know, speculating to release. Um, and there was like one picture in particular, where I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pop up right here for you guys. Um, and there's a possible Cement 4 release in its OG form. Um, and I'm gonna say this really too. Um, when I seen that, I thought about it like, I thought about all the remastered Jordans, um, and you gotta think about which ones have Nike on the back, which is of course only the uh, threes, fours, the fives, and the sixes. Nothing else really has Nike Air on the back. And I was thinking about which shoes have they remastered so far, and have they remastered any OG colorways where they would need Nike Air on the back? And in that case, I don't think they have. Um, if they did re-release -re something, it did have Nike Air on it. Take it for instance, the Hair 7s that had Nike Air on the insole. Um, the Chicago 1s, an OG colorway, had Nike Air on the insole. Now then, people might say, but the 4s, but the 4s always had the, the Jordan Air, and I mean by that is the Columbia 4s and the Oreo 4s. So if I'm correct and I'm not mistaken, they haven't released any OG form of any remastered shoe without that Nike Air. So what I'm thinking is, Next year, since they're probably going to be still doing a remaster series, of course, when they bring out these colorways, um, like if they bring out the infrared six again for some reason, um, you know, are they going to release it with Nike Air on the back? Are they going to release Black Cement Threes with Nike Air on the back? Um, we already have Nike Air on the um, the, oh, the white eighty eight, so why not? I think that's going to be Jordan Brand's next move. Um, but yeah, the Smith Fours. Just know, I am definitely gonna be on those because that is my grill shoe. If I could get a 99 pair of uh, Cement 4s, I had the um, 2012 pair, but the 99 pair is far supreme. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get into the, these, this new collection, these three collections. Um, and I'm just pulling up right here. Uh, basically, you have the Dunk From Above, which of course, the theme on that one is like flight. Um, of course, the next one is the Ad Campaigns, which is the poster collection, which I think are the two best shoes. And the only two shoes that I probably would go for out of all these. Um, and of course, they have the alternate collection. So what I want to start off with is the alternate collection, which you have three shoes, which is a two, a four, and a five. And of course, the Jordan 2 is called the 87, the 4, the 89, and the 5, the 90. I'm reading a lot of this information off of Sneaker News. Um, now, one thing about, I'm going to start with the 5s and work my way back. One thing about 5s is I'm not really a big fan of low top 5s. Um, so, I mean, it, it's, it's another one of those Jordan colorways where I'm like, that's cool. Um, if you don't know what the, the whole alternate, you know, part of the uh, collection was, it was like alternate jersey, Jordan, alternate shoes. Jordan could have wore when he was with the Bulls. Um, and I mean, the fives are cool, but it's definitely not a must cop for me, but I really like the theme and the concept. Um, as far as the fours go, once again, it's another four that, to me, just really, I mean, they're cool. They remind me of the forest green fours um, a bit. Um, it was like all white and it was a couple of forest green hits. Um, so they might be a better shoe in person, but as far as just a white and red four that is gonna cost you, I'm assuming 200 bucks off top. Um, you know, I have bread fours, I have cement fours, I have thunder fours. I mean, not all of them are white and red, but they have white and black and, I, I mean, it's just one of those shoes where it's just another extra Jordan brand colorway that I don't really feel like I need. Um, so next up, we have the Jordan 287. And what I will say about the Jordan 2 um, out of this whole pack is that that shoe, the Jordan 2, is probably the best shoe out of this side of the pack. Um, just because the Jordan 2 and that black leather just looks good. 
Um, one thing I forgot to know about the fours, I'm, I'm looking through the pictures right here, that it does say alternate 89 on the back tab on those fours. Um, the leather looks nice, of course. Um, but the twos are probably the best out of this alternate collection. Um, all black leather and just that red, the red scales on this guy, or not the red scales, but the black scales on the side. That might actually be a shoe that I might entertain. Um, but that is, of course, the alternate. So next up, we're going to get into my favorite out of all the packs, which is, of course, um, not the alternates, but the poster collection, which is basically shoes that commemorate like old um, Nike ads and posters and stuff like that. So we're going to start off with the 12. Um, I'm not exactly sure which uh, name is on the 12. Um, oh, it's just called the poster because the twos are called the wing it. Um, but the poster 12s all black leather with gold accents and like a little bit of white i mean i really don't think you can go wrong with that shoe um it just looks good man i think if if anything that's probably be a shoe i grab i mean this 12 the poster 12 and of course this wing it 2. um the wing it 2 i think out of both shoes it just depends on what you're into either 12 or 2s i think the 2 is the better shoe um just if you look at the leather on that like how the tumble leather is it's like a, a huge like a wide tumble leather usually there's like little pieces of tumble leather it's kind of hard to really explain but the tumble leather looks really really nice on this shoe um just white and gray and then my favorite thing about this one is that it does say wing it on the back um just you know more going with the theme you can see it on the back of the shoe um and of course that bold nike font and i think that shoe is gonna be one I definitely go for. Um, that one's the coolest one, in my opinion, out of all these shoes. Um, out of all eight of these shoes that are coming out, that is the coolest one, and that is the one I want the most, is the Wing It 2. So next up, let's go ahead and get into the Dunk From Above, which is, of course, the theme is flight. Um, and there is one aspect on one of these shoes I like. I'm be completely honest with you. I'm not, once again, man, I'm not really feeling it. Um, these couple colorways, I mean the five is kind of nice, the colorway itself, but I would have liked once again a high top to a mid top five, you know what I'm saying, or a high top five. Um, low top fives I'm not really into, but the colorway is nice. The blue, white, and kind of that gold, or navy, white, and gold is a good look, um, but I would have definitely liked it on a high rather than a low. Next up we have the fours, a gum outsole, which I would say is nice. Um, it's all navy blue and kind of like where the leather ends is that tannish color, like a tanned leather color. Um, those look nice, those look very premium in my opinion, um, but once again, it's another four that I'm probably gonna pass on. Now, to end this video out, the one, the Nuvio or Novio or no Navo, it's probably Navo because it's Bordeaux and Navo is N-O-V-A-U, so I'm gonna go with Navo because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, my favorite thing, and I really do like the aspect of the swoosh. Um, the whole other, like the, all the other parts of the shoe, I really don't care for, but the swoosh wrapping around the back, and it has the effect like an actual uh, visor from someone who, you know, flies a, a jet or something like that. The visor, how it changes colors. That, to me, is a dope idea. Now, if they take that idea, which I'm pretty sure they probably won't do, but if they take that idea and put it on another shoe um just that that swoosh that swoosh is is dope like i really like that aspect i don't really know how many times i can say i like it but that is dope the whole shoe is not dope in my opinion but the swoosh is good keep that put that on something else nike take that idea and put it somewhere else that i like you know for lack of better words so anyways y'all be easy much love to all the fan followers and supporters you guys can follow me here there blase blase at bullet rc you know like i said that's anywhere from instagram tumblr twitch soundcloud um snuffs anywhere at bullet rc i'm gonna see you guys in the next video let me know down below what you guys are looking forward to um you know coming up next year uh like i said man my most hype thing i guess i'm for for is the cement force coming back out anyway y'all be easy peace